Okay. It is. You know, it's 5.59. It's so far on that, so <laughs> I, think we'll go, well, I think we'll go ahead and begin. So I'd like to call the night's meeting of the candidate of town board to order, and we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Council Person Rudolph. I'll take the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Thank you. All right, Jean, would you be able to call the roll? Certainly. Councilwoman Karen Denae. Present. Councilman Terry Fallon. Present. Councilwoman Annalyn Woodrow. Present. Supervisor Gary Simpson. Present. All right, Jean, was the meeting properly advertised? Yes, it was. Okay, thank you. Uh, we do have items of written communication uh, in the binder uh, that it should be in circulation. Uh, there are a number of those. Uh, that takes us to our first privilege of the floor for the evening. Uh, if anyone, anyone would like to be heard at this time. Online as well. Seeing nobody online or in person, we'll move past that. Uh, that takes us to priority business, and there's no greater priority business than birthdays. Uh, so we have birth the birth dates for this next cycle for the town of Canandaigua. Uh, Michelle Rollinson, uh, August 27th. Scott Kiesel, August 30th. Bob LaForce, September 12th. Larry Tyler, September 12th. And Amanda Van Laken, September 16th. And I'd like to wish a happy birthday to all of those individuals. Now, we do not have any special presentations at this time, uh, nor do we have any continued public hearings. Uh, we do have a, pub, a new public hearing, uh, and this is public hearing on a proposed local law to amend the town code to create a new section 220-33.2 Agricultural Protection Overlay District for certain parcels seven acres or greater within a specified area in the Strategic Farmland Protection Area. And this pertains to resolution 2022-216. At this time, I declare the public hearing open. Is there anybody who would like to be heard pertaining to this public hearing? <clears throat> I'm not seeing comments or indications online. All right, one more time. If anyone, if anyone would like to be heard, now's the time. All right. Are there any objections from the board to close the public hearing? No. Nope. All right. So at this time, I declare the public hearing closed. Uh, that takes us to a report of town officials and department heads. So we will move on to that. We do not have our highway superintendent with us tonight. He has a family obligation. Um, I do not, we do not have a report from our assessor. Uh, historian, Mr. Hurd himself. I'll keep it short because I, Karen, I, we didn't get a chance to speak. Were you going to cover what happened at Academy? With the stones, um, for the I, mower. You should do it. You okay. Hey, this is not a uh, a big issue, but I wanted the board to be aware. Um, we did have a minor issue with our mowing service. Well, not a minor issue, an issue with our mowing service. Um, we thought we had gotten a really good mower. Uh, somebody who had experience with uh, old cemeteries and the fragility of headstone, older headstones, um, like a lot of other things that are going on in the world today, they're having troubles finding quality employees. Um, the mowing crew that was there, uh, I want to say it now it's in the second week of July, uh, for unknown reasons, I have my suspicions, uh, collided with a number of stones. Uh, and and created some damage at the Academy Cemetery. There were also uh, was some damage at the Hun Cemetery. Academy took the brunt of it, but um, everybody is well aware of this. Everybody on staff, um, myself, and we're working on solutions, long-term solutions. Um, Mr. Brewer is aware. Um, Ms. Freire is all over it. Uh, Ms. Silverstrom is all over it, uh, which is to say... Uh, our town manager, Mr. Finch, is all over it. So I'm actually, uh, the reason I'm bringing it up mostly is because I want the town board and the public to know that uh, the fact that we stood up a cemetery committee 
um, to be responsible for the maintenance, upkeep, um, and the future of our very old burial grounds was a very wise move. I mean, nobody would have foreseen that this was going to happen by having that committee um, is going to help find that long-term solution and guarantee, not mean I guarantee, but ensure that something like this doesn't happen again and that we have some uh, uh, accountability. Uh, the only other item I have for you is I received a very nice piece of fan mail today. I'm lucky because I'm sure the board doesn't frequently get nice letters from the general public. <laughs> um, I got one for, for an article I wrote it, but the reason I bring it up is the, uh, the author of the letter was one of our um, older farming families and they were really just commenting on um, open space and farming and the importance of it. Um, so our public is, is watching and they are listening to, um, you know, to town hall and its response to those uh, items. So I think that's all that I have. I will be out of town for the next couple of weeks and we'll be back in uh, early September and hopefully have another article for the public. So thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. much. All right, Tom Clerk. Jean, do you have anything? I do. Uh, last Friday, I emailed the town board. I received a request from um, an individual who's having a celebration of life um, event down at Onanda Park this Saturday um, due to some miscommunication. Everything started back in the end of June, beginning of July. Um, they called and asked what the status was, and I said, I never got the application. So that's why it didn't make your agenda and last minute request. Um, so it's a celebration of life this Saturday, Gorham Lodge. It is being catered by a local. Um, company restaurant um, that does business throughout the town quite regularly. Um, so I didn't know if you had a chance to look at the information and if I could um, ask for a motion to either approve or deny the application. Let's just for the record because I don't think it mentions alcohol facility. Thank you. Yes, it is a facility alcohol beverage permit application. So and I would add that the company doing this, the business doing this, does have a license. They do. They do have a they do have a liquor license. So they do. They are able to do that. Yeah, and they're fully insured. And they're, you know, yes. I would move that we accept it. I'll second that. Okay, move and second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Sean, do you have anything? Hi, uh, I don't have anything unless you have questions about my report. Any questions? No. We do not. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, I don't see Lindsay. All right, town manager, Doug, do you have anything in addition? I, I don't see the report. I just want to uh, draw your attention to Lindsay's uh, in her report. Uh, she is uh, proposing uh, $2 increase for a couple of weeks here for the life cards. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Just want to make sure mm -hmm. we're there so that we can keep the beaches open as long as possible. Perfect. All right. Um, I don't have anything additional other than to thank uh, Lindsay and the parks staff and our special events committee for the movie night and the music in the parks. I was out of town, so unable to attend. But the feedback I got was very positive. It was very well attended. So thank you uh, to all those who gave up their time uh, and talents in helping plan that. Uh, and I would add that after being away for a week in the Rocky Mountains, I came back on Saturday and the first place that I went was Onanda. And I was there for about five hours with a group and the place was full, people were having fun and it was just made me appreciate um, what we have and all the work that our Parks and Rec crew um, does for all of us. So thank you to everyone for keeping that up and running in the facilities that we have. Okay, uh, finance, I don't have anything additional to add. Karen, do you have anything additional to no, add for I finance? Okay, Terry, planning public works. Yeah, a few things. We had a meeting on August 5th. Uh, we uh, had invited Cable and Lukonsky to come uh, let us uh, bring us up to speed on what the county may or may not be doing with uh, 
the landfill and you know, that whole area of uh, uh, of uh, interest. One thing she brought up was that the county is uh, wants to sponsor a mattress collection event here at uh, our transfer station on the 24th of September. It wouldn't um, involve any of our people. It would all be uh, taken care of by county people. So um, the finding a public course committee agreed that it was uh, seemed acceptable and we should recommend that the town board approve that and allow it to go ahead. What day of the week is that, Tim? What's that? What day of the week is that? The Saturday, okay. the 24th. Um, everything would be recycled. It would be, uh, we'd open it to uh, the town, the city, and all county residents. That's what they want to do. But how many mattresses uh, we bring? We do have people who drop off mattresses here, uh, usually around the time when the furniture stores have sales. So I don't know if there's a sale on September on mattresses, but we'll find out, I guess. Um, one of the items in the uh, in the agenda tonight is uh, um, having the uh, town apply for an inspection permit for uh, inspecting all of our vehicles. We have about 50 vehicles all together across the whole spectrum, and wheelers down to you know, code enforcement uh, officers' uh, cars. This would save a considerable amount of money, both in time, people traveling back and forth to drop vehicles off for inspection. You know, and the cost um, wouldn't be open to the public, be strictly for you know, town uh, vehicles. We do have to invest in uh, a computer set up to uh, look at uh, certain aspects of, of uh, uh, emissions that we don't have the facilities for right now. Uh, regarding the transfer station, we uh, discussed that there have been several layouts proposed so far. And uh, there's still a, uh, a need to do a little more programming, a little more uh, of an in-depth look at the metal and construction degree building that would be part of this facility. It's kind of attached to our facility now. And Jim and I went up uh, last Wednesday and had a meeting after our public works committee meeting previous Friday with MRB people. And I think we came up with a you know, a, a better facility layout, which will enable them to come back with more of a solid concept uh, drawing and uh, description of what this facility could look like. So, um, yeah, what else do we have here? So gateway signs, uh, you know, uh, I think, who's involved in that? Sarah. Shauna and Greg and Great draws, I think, was there looking at our gateway signs where we have placed them and, uh, specifically in 332 up near Dave Janeco's facility where they had an interesting discussion with some of these people. And um, I think on Route 6, 364, there is some work that has to be done in order to get all of these uh, um, sites. Uh, approved so that effort underway so and uh it's pretty much well the only other thing is the uh county road 28 is a sewer project that uh, we discussed that and the application of uh the arpa funding that we've received and uh, the committee did recommend that we use that kind of money to assist with the cost of uh that project so that is it. Okay, thank you. Uh, ordinance, uh, we don't have John Casey. Uh, economic development. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Euler, do you have anything from the planning board? I have nothing to add, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. I did not see Mr. Sailor. Uh, Adeline. Nothing further. Okay. Shauna, anything from the CIC? Uh, not at this point, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. I don't see Mr. McNeil. He's probably out traveling somewhere again. So he's not here tonight. 
special events. I did not see Oksana. We got some Mr. DiCarlo. And Karen, do you have anything more to add on the cemetery committee? We did meet, as uh, Leif mentioned, um, reviewed priorities for what the committee's looking forward to doing. Uh, looked over budget requests for next year, and we're going to meet at the Hunt Cemetery on September 10th. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, that takes us to our next privilege of the floor. Is there anyone who would like to be heard at this time? Karen. Karen Parkers. I live on Laura Lane, as you all know. So at last month's meeting, Supervisor Simpson tabled the um, resolution to purchase the property at 3950 County Road 16. And he tabled it indefinitely. And when I read the agenda for tonight's meeting, I didn't see it on the agenda to be discussed again. Um, so you tabled it to, as you stated, to um, give the town the opportunity to explore their options, other funding scenarios, and other entities that might be able to get involved and help with the process. So I would like to know if there has been any, I mean, we only have until September to do anything with this. And I would like to be kept as updated as possible about where you are in the process. And honestly, you know, if you're not going to make a decision, just tell us. So we know not to expect anything more from you. And that's all I ask. Thank you very much. All right, is there anyone else who would like to be heard at this time? Lois Goldbeck, 4280 Lake Hill Drive. And actually, I just want to say that I want to brag on somebody that was a, that's a town employee here. Um, last week, I was walking my little dog up at Miller Park, and unfortunately, there was a, a looked like a newly planted tree that had broken over and was laying on the ground, but it looked like maybe it had just happened because the tree was still alive. And I was like, well, maybe they can still save it. So I didn't even know who was in charge of parks anymore. I know it wasn't Dennis anymore. So I had to look on my phone and I found Lindsay Frary and I called her and I left a message about the tree. And it was late in the afternoon and I, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I didn't expect to um, necessarily hear back from her, but honestly, I sort of forgot that I had even left the message. And the next day in the afternoon, she actually called me and wanted to know exactly where the tree was because somebody was going to do something about it. So anyway, I just wanted to thank her for caring as much about the trees as I do. And that's one of the reasons why I love living in Canada. So thank you. All right. Thank you so much. We are very fortunate to, uh, to have Lindsay. So thank you. Anyone else like to be heard at this time? Yes, sir. I live at Pythagin in one sheet, Route 21 South. I am here because of Mr. Finney and your septic law, because I am going to my neighbor's place and I found out that for the past few years, She's been shoveling shit in the, uh, a few in pieces, excuse me, in the uh, dawn of the thing. So I only going to charge you 125, but because Mr. Finley Lynch, I mean, left me standing there with only three minutes. I am going to tell you, I am going to raise it from 125 to 150, and I am going to sue you and the OTN that registered property on 5081 Route 21 South. Also, I want to know what the water is on 4070 Mill House Road. 
or supposed to get water when the second tire went up and the second tire is up and you haven't said anything. So when is the water going to be there? I'm waiting for well, your answers. Well, during the during the privilege of the floor, that is the opportunity for the public to express. It's not a it's not a question and answer or an open dialogue session. Uh, it's a matter of you have the opportunity to speak, uh, and the the board can listen and take notes and then address at a later. So, time. in other words, you don't mind being sued at all. You are lucky because. Mr. Finney said, I'm not changing my septic law because septic law is law and it is put. But I sent a special letter to Miss uh, Chief Clerk uh, and I said on the banner, please let me know when it is. And she didn't let me know and it was passed. So I am P and I will make sure that they, uh, forgive me, I had a stroke. So I don't speak while I am like Douglas Fairbanks. I need my 15 minutes, but he not let me. So I'll, uh, I can't say it, but Mr. Finney knows why I am against the septic system. Okay. So what what I would encourage you, and rightfully you have your prerogative to do what you feel you need to do to protect your best interests, but I would also encourage you at any time, reach out to any of call. I tried to reach out. Nobody gave me anything but took me from the 15 minutes two, three minutes. Okay. So I'll let you go. Okay. Thank you for your comments. All right, is there anyone else would like to be heard at this time? So that takes us to our continued resolutions. Uh, resolution number 201, seeker determination of non-significance and adoption of local law to amend the town code chapter four, agricultural advisory committee, to revise the membership requirements of the Agricultural Advisory Committee. So moved. And again, okay, moved and seconded. Any discussion? So yeah, we have this, this is the separate sheet we got. The only change in this is that it defines a quorum as three members for their future meetings on the Ag Committee. So that's, okay. yes, that's the committee number at seven. And, uh, that change, if anybody's looking for it, is under section four, letter E. It says a quorum shall consist of three members and the committee shall be authorized to hold meetings and conduct business if any three members are present. And to clarify our last meeting, that was um, a discussion in the concern over having kind of an unnamed number and what makes up the quorum because the, the Ag Committee does fluctuate at times in their membership. Um, but that sets the quorum at three. So at any time there are three members present, uh, it has to be a legal uh, advertised meeting. And also this that. way, if they have less than seven members, the town can advertise a vacancy on the committee to acquire more people. So, so, so okay, so it's been the changes that have been made recently by the state should say if any three members are physically present, mm -hmm. you have to have quorum at the meeting site. Mm -hmm. You do have to have the quorum in person, according to our um, rules. You have to have that in there. Um, I think it's just indicating what a quorum is, and I think our town rules indicate whether you need to be present or not, or remote, right? No, it's not the state. town, it's the state. Oh, the state, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, just This is just clarify, defining how many it is. Clear, I mean, we have other committees, but yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to use that same language, but I think it has to be just so crystal clear that people have to Yeah, I think adding physically wouldn't change the nature no, of it. It wouldn't take it away, but it would clarify no. that. I'm comfortable with. I don't, I don't mind. Mr. Oh. Mr. Nadler wrote it. So I'm not. Mr. Nadler. 
it, you could do it either way. Terry raises a good point with the state law. Um, if it were me, I would probably leave it as is because the state law does define uh, the quorum as being present, um, but it might not do so forever. Um, if that changes five years from now, you may have to go change your code. Unless you want the quorum in person, you could leave it as is and still have the still be compliant with New York State law. Doesn't matter to me. I just that because we had that come up recently in the right. situation. I'd be okay with adding it. Is anybody opposed to putting that way. in there? They okay. just wanted the number. They just the ag committee just wanted the number okay. nine to three. So whatever makes everybody so and that's that. so we will change if any three members are at physically before present. Yeah, if we had physically present there, maybe Mr. Nevitt can chime in on this. If there is a new state of emergency issued by the state, then we can't have a quorum. <laughs> well, so we can't trump it. I that's yeah. the state of emergency yeah. might trump that. It may trump it, Mr. Nevitt. That, that's sort of why I, I made my comment. I think I'd leave it. Okay. So you have the flexibility. All right, even though we don't know that that's really you because we can't see you. I think we'll, I will rescind my physically comment. My seven year old son. <laughs> I will rescind the physically and um, Terry, are you okay with that? Oh yeah. Okay. All right, so it's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion on the matter? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. All right, so that takes us to our new resolution. Second. That local no. That's local law six. Okay. All right. Okay, number 211, the acceptance of the monthly financial reports. Cool. Okay. Move and second at any discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. 212, uh, acknowledgement and authorization of budget transfers by a town manager. Well, that's enough. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. 213, authorizing highway fund budget adjustment for service reimbursement. So moved. I'll second. Uh, moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Two fourteen authorizing budget transfer for planning board activities. A move. A second. I'll move and second. If any discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Carries. Authorizing highway superintendent to complete application for fleet inspection station license <clears throat> through New York State Department of Motor Vehicles. A move. Second. I move and second. If any discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Carries. Uh, resolution 216, secret determination of non significance and adoption of local law to amend the town code at section 220.33.2 uh, Agricultural Protection Overlay District. So moved. I guess. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Resolution. Is that? Uh, number seven, the local no, seven, law. Yes. Yep. Resolution 217, setting a public hearing of town code chapter 174, chapter 220, and chapter one through 17 relating to subdivision of land, zoning definitions, and seeker intent to declare lead agency. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? I have a question. Yes. And now, therefore, we resolve further. Is there a blank in there? Okay, thank you. We'll just take it out. Thank you. Okay, any other comments? Okay, did we move that? Yeah, we moved the yep. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. 218, authorization for the town manager to create the position of zoning inspector full time. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. 
219, appointment of lifeguard for parks. So moved. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Number 220, accepting the agreement with Canada with Emergency Squad and authorizing the town manager to execute the agreement. So moved. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Resolution 221, approval of information technology professional services agreement with integrated systems. So moved. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Resolution 222, authorizing the town manager to release a request for proposals for planning services to create a sidewalk envisioning map and report. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? You want maybe a little description and Doug for the public? The origin. Sure. Sure. So we had a joint meeting uh, not too long ago with all of our boards together. And one of the things that came out of that, and I, I think it was some uh, requests from some of our planning board members, so that they really knew where the town envisioned sidewalks and trails in the town of Canada will when they are reviewing subdivision applications. As well as the bear, as well as the zoning board, if there's some changes to that, as well as really for our purposes at the town board level uh, for when we apply for grants and those sorts of things. So having all of that stuff collected, and it's certainly not to say that you know we're certainly not putting sidewalks on every road in the town of Canada, but really going through that process and saying, okay, which roads does it make the most sense to have sidewalks and have the, the data to go along with it? So that's the purpose of this uh, request for proposals for releasing this RFP is so we can get some consultants to uh, provide us a quote for providing that service. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Uh, resolution 223, supporting Edgemere Development's application for funding from the NYSHCR. Mm -hmm. Second that. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Resolution. Sorry, I'm 224. And the printing gets smaller as the years go on. The printing keeps getting smaller. So I should have those things on right now. Uh, 224 regarding letter from AMP Energy regarding pilot for solar pro uh, project on tax map. Um, 84.00-1-17.200. So moved. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Okay, resolutions number 225 through 227. I would like to present them as a block. So... Can I get a motion to approve? Uh, I'll, to I'll move uh, two as a block. Okay, so moved. Motion was made to approve them as a block. Can I have a second? Sure, you second those? Yeah, you do. Okay, moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? First block. Aye. Aye. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get one of those for a while to get those sure these taken if you want. Stick a little bit. Okay, uh, can I get approval of the board meeting minutes from July 18th? I'll second it. Any discussion, corrections, additions? Are you all in favor? Aye. 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 Carries. Minutes are approved. Okay, payment of the bills. Jean. Utility abstract dated August 2nd, 2022, totaling $27,916.50. General fund of $25,033.66. Highway funds of $46.30, water districts of $2,836.64. Town board abstract dated August 15, 2022, totaling $345,787.89. General fund of $147,889.01. Highway fund of $142,496.76. Capital projects of $3,953.20, drainage districts of $11,095, lighting districts of $1,191.14, 
and water districts of $39,162.78. Thank you. Welcome. Can I get a motion to approve the bills? I'll move. Second. Move and seconded. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, bills are paid. This takes us to our next privilege of the floor. Is there anyone who would like to be heard? Mr. Harry yourself. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Goldbeck um, sort of reminded me of this when she spoke about Lindsay, and I just wanted to add this. Uh, so the, the thing I mentioned with the cemetery damage, that was reported to us by um, Richard and Donna West, who've been working at the Academy Cemetery, cataloging all the graves and um, laying out a, uh, a really good map. But the point is a history team, their history team members, that's who's doing that. The history team, Lois is also a member of the history team. The history team is out in the community, um, eyes on a lot of things all the time, and so is the tree team. So I just want to, those of you who are in the room today to know that, um, and, and those who may listen, that that's a really beneficial thing. And uh, Lindsay and I were speaking about that and how helpful it is that we have engaged citizens that are out there when um, our crews are spread, you know, far and wide in the summer doing good work. Just nice to have extra eyes like Wallace's and the kind of Thank so, you. Thank you. We are very fortunate to have so many people who are invested in the community and want to, you know, make keep continue to make things better and aware of things happening. And, and um, thank you for that. So other business I would like to mention. So uh, I do want to reply to Karen's comments. So you don't think that I'm just leaving you uh, in, in the lurch here. We continue to have this, you know, individual discussions. Um, I have had several com conversations with the town manager regarding the RSM property. Uh, sometimes wheels move slowly, but we are doing due diligence to investigate every potential opportunity, every potential funding opportunity uh, in group that might be available to help with that. So uh, it has not been slid off the table. Uh, we have every intention to make a decision. It might not be at the next board meeting because we are really kind of dependent on others at this point uh, in where they where they are uh, in the process. Uh, but it will be before we're, it might be right before that that deadline that we finally make the decision. But it wasn't put off to kind of brush it aside and just let it die. It was um, put off to give us the opportunity to continue to research. So we are doing that. Um, can't get into a whole lot of details as far as what's happening because there are other entities involved. Uh, but I can give you my word that, and everybody's in here, that we are continuing to look to see what we can do uh, to uh, help facilitate this process. One question. Yes. If if you go um, past the next board meeting to make a decision, how will you let the community we know would, what your decision? We would have we would have to do it in a special yes. board meeting. So that would be advertised. It would be a public meeting. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So I'm hoping we have an answer by the next board meeting and we can take action on it. But if not, we will. That's not my intention. Just to let the expiration go. Uh, we would have a special board meeting to take action on it. Okay. So I just wanted to thank you for bringing that up. And I want to, you know, I know that's in a lot of people's minds and I didn't want to make people think that we were just kind of letting it, um, letting it go by the wayside. All right. Uh, did you have other business to present? I do. Um, so at the last town board meeting, we had a discussion relative a request from a resident with a water bill and a water meter. And uh, you had instructed the water superintendent to send out to get the water meter tested. And he sent an email this afternoon. Uh, the meter is certified and working. Um, his recommendation is to allow the resident to make payments relative to the other large water bill. Um, I'm comfortable with that because it shows that the water was used. Um, and it was a significant amount, so rather than sticking it to the resident with late charges and everything, and that would be pay over time with no no fees accruing. That's it. Yep. Any other comments? No, I agree completely. Okay. And he, he still is billed normally. Yes. For use. So the current use would right. continue to go right. forward, but this would just be a plan on that. Yep. Okay. I'll move that we uh, 
allow extended billing without uh, without late fees. Okay. Can I get a second on that? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. There you go. Um, so the things just real quick. In the budget calendar is set um, early in the process of the budget. We have um, kind of penciled in two budget workshop meetings, officially the town board, because that would be a town board meeting, but the yeah. workshop need to set that at the time. Yes. The dates uh, that we attended the pencil for September the 21st and October the 3rd, if those work for you. And then you want to do evening meetings. I think those are uh, What was October. the second date, Jeff? The 21st so, is a Wednesday. 21st is a Wednesday, Wednesday and October the 3rd is, is a Monday. Monday. Okay, so September 21st and October 3rd. Does anybody have any <clears throat> conflicts with those dates? Well, third is only if we need it, correct? Correct. So uh, we could advertise for both of those yes. and we could just cancel right. the one. Um, At six for both of those or what time? Yeah. Six six. Six. What date is the town board meeting? This oh, oh, yes. It's September 12th and then and it's October, October 17th. 17th. October 17th. Is that after the town board declares the preliminary? Yes, because they will do that at their September 12th. They can't right. So if on September 12th, we'll both we'll are declared preliminary, and then we will have a couple workshops to tweak it. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead with those dates. At um, six. One more thing. I don't know if you were planning to discuss this. Um, I know Terry brought it up at the future report we brought up. Um, I don't know if you were prepared to have further conversation about that tonight. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, final privilege of the floor. Would anyone else like to be here at this time? I see no hands and nobody in line. Do have a request for executive session? Okay, so all right, so we do have a request to executive session, planned acquisition, we're public discussion, uh, set of back value. Uh, so we will, it's not anticipated that any action will be taken after this executive session. And so, can I get a motion to enter executive session? So we'll, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Safe travels. Dear, can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 7.30, meetings adjourned. Aye.